Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so I recently encountered a, another problem. Um, recorded my video, didn't come out right, wouldn't save, so uh, I'm here to do another one. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. It's uh, freaking hate it, man. I don't know what's going on. Um, so trying to figure it out. Good thing I still have my audio, so uh, that's working well. But um, today in this video. I'm actually doing a turbocharger and I actually bought all the turbocharger pieces and um, I went with the Blowfish GR series 25 PSI and the reason why I went with the 25 PSI is to compare with uh, the last video which is the 22 PSI supercharger so in this video I'm going to compare the difference between both and uh, let's see I'm uh, you do have to buy quite a lot of uh, components before you get this turbocharge up and running uh, this turbocharge, I think it, be I believe it cost me around twelve grand. Um, I went from twelve thousand to seven thousand. I mean, not twelve grand, five grand. Sorry, I went from twelve grand to seven seven thousand. So um, you're looking at five fif five thirteen. Sorry, at um, five eighty nine pounds of torque. And here's the supercharger graph, which is four thirty six at uh, four eighty four. And I'm just gonna put on, oh, let's yeah, let's, let's put on a different color so you can see that graph right there. And um, you can definitely see the difference in power. Um, you can see that uh, the stock ECU is actually putting uh, well the the rev ranges and, and how the power works. It's very similar. I'm about to put on the stock one. Let's pick a different color. Um see right here stock and you can definitely see the difference between the stock horsepower from your new your new graphs and your new setups and of course this is all with stock component uh, so you you know the head in the block is not built yet so you're just doing uh, simple bolt-ons uh, simple uh, superchargers and turbochargers so you do you, you can't see the difference in the power ranges um, the difference from what is it 1800 to around around what uh almost three grand you can see that's where the power picks up for the turbo versus the super so we're gonna back out <clears throat> i have tested about five races and i got this much stressed already um it's not that bad only 463 uh for five races which is not bad uh i do have no fluids i was running i think i ran one race with fluids but I was trying to test out a theory whether fluids would make my um, stress parts go away. But, oh my god. Alright, that's a disconnection. So I'm going to start on the, the second video. Alright, well, welcome back. Sorry for the disconnection. Uh, let's see, where was I? Um, oh yeah, okay. So, um, no fluids. I actually installed the fluids and trying to test the theory. Um, I don't think it works. Um, for some reason, it did work for my Corvette. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's something that uh, uh, they haven't fixed, but um, or whatnot. <laughs> Who knows, right? So I'm actually gonna give this a couple, a uh, couple of runs just to see how well it holds up. I wanna. It's it's. I don't want to do this because. You know, I'm going to have to pay a lot later, but I'm trying to get that engine damage. I want to see how many more races can I get with this setup before it gives out on me. And um, all these are stock components. So we're going to actually, I think it was, I think I did a 10-1 one, one time. Um, I forgot. It's been, it's been about a couple of days since I played. So there we go. It's two gears short shifted. Um, kind of coming up on fourth pretty good shift 10 7 10 7 1 8 so never mind I probably didn't do the 10.1 <laughs> um I could have swear I did it once but you know maybe that's probably with the with the world purple and the, um, the extra additive for coolants and stuff like that and so um, that does make a big difference I did have on the BBS wheels and the suspensions, 
the altitude suspension coilovers. Um, so we're going to go ahead and keep on testing this uh, setup right here. Now line up, stage, get ready. Pretty good. Shifting's not so bad. Got a 5.6 RT. Actually, you can get into fifth gear now, which is actually pretty good. I believe the last setup I on the supercharger, I was only able to get up to fourth gear. So with this turbocharger setup, I'm actually able to get into fifth gear, and um, being able to do 10 sevens is actually fairly pretty well for only five grand. So um, if I was to to start it out, I think this setup right here would be pretty good if you're trying to race uh, head to head and uh, go off of stock components. I think it's when you start messing with the intakes and stuff is when you start to get engine damage because you're either restricting or or whatnot and uh, when you restrict air from getting into your car that's when it's a big deal so you gotta find those right parts um, for your car so got a 5.4 RT going down on the last stretch right here into fifth gear yeah, 10.714. That's actually very, pretty consistent. I wouldn't say very consistent, but pretty consistent. Usually when I record like this, it's not that consistent. Um, it, it usually jumps up and down just because of the fact that I'm recording and, and uh, trying to run the game at the same time, running other different programs. So, But it actually is doing very well. Um, so yeah. Um... Yeah, just one thing I do notice about this setup is that um, there is a slight turbo lag, and uh, that's the thing you have to get over. You have to really have the right gears, but actually for the stock gear ratios on this car, it actually works very well. And I do believe that when you burn out like that in the beginning, or just in general in races, I do believe that it does cause some engine damage. I don't know. I might have to test that theory. I might do a little video about it. So I got 10.729. And, um, well, back to what I was saying. Um, when you over rev or when you burn out or, or when you're, you're, you're just revving your engine, you know, while you're on a, when you're, when you're lining up or when you're staging up, um, I believe that does cause some engine damage. So, but I don't know. Um, I've been hearing it for a while. Um, people haven't proven it. So, hey, maybe that might make a great video, you know, just to see what does and what doesn't. Um, I know for sure, for a fact, that on a stock engine, completely stock engine, you can over-rev and you can you can rev the crap out of it and uh, actually hold up. Um, but all you got to do is just dump downshift when you're in a, when you're in a high, high RPM. You'll definitely break your engine. 11... 11.050 That's the last I, actually, I can't believe I actually won that one Then again it's only uh, The the little newbie Newbie touring I'm only doing this for uh, uh, Promotional Or not promotional purpose but For viewing purpose um, I normally race on sport Just because of the fact that um, my, my computer Is not consistent with the um, With the game kind of weird I hop on a, a um, into a good computer and I get good consistent RT but with the current computer that I'm using right now it's kind of fluctuates everywhere so kind of have to like play around with it um, so we're getting down here to fourth gear going on the last stretch right here into fifth let's see Oh, I thought that I didn't win because there was a slight lag. But, alright. So, that's good that we got, what, around 500, 700 bucks. Maybe. So, as you can see on the bottom over here, it's 916. That's the total price. So, that means that my engine is stressing a lot more than it, it usually is. Um, so, this is the outcome after, what, another five more races after the previous five races. Um, so it's not so bad to, so to speak, because if you can get 10 races 
without repairing a car that's that's not so bad but as a newcomer um that is going to be a problem because your car is going to be stressing and you know you don't want your car to stress the first you know first and foremost you want your car to last for as long as you can but you know what missing maybe messing with these uh ill filters maybe I, if i can get more uh more air into the car um uh, and push out more air then that's what it probably needs to breathe a lot better to to create less stress on the motor because i do notice that um my head gasket is going up in price which is stressing uh, my block and connecting rods and pistons and valves so that does tell you one thing and um if you want you can run the uh the fluid flush setup or the royal purple and the mitsumoto uh uh coolant uh additives on it and uh you'll probably run a little bit better uh you probably run stronger you can probably last a lot more races but um as the races go on it does get less consistent because of the fact that those fluids are actually running out so it's kind of like um putting on race fluid you know you can only race for a couple of races before that fluid runs out and when that fluid runs out then your your time decreases you know by either point seconds or a second so um yeah if you guys like my videos uh rate comment subscribe and uh leave a suggestion you know if you guys have anything to suggest uh whether if it's like how to do this how to do that or whether if it's um just simple other stuff maybe not even neato or uh any other thing like it doesn't even have to be related all you got to do is just suggest and i will do my best to provide a video for you guys and and whatnot so uh Thanks for watching. Um, catch you guys later. Peace.